you just love your words this is Walga Darunal taking you through the tutorial on vertical motion under gravity so we shall start with lesson one which will involve deriving the equations which will be used so vertical motion under gravity if the if air resistance is neglected all bodies have got the same constant acceleration towards the center of the earth when moving under the action of their weight only this acceleration is known as acceleration due to gravity and is denoted by a letter g now in math a level math we shall use g as 9.8 meters per second squared so sir, we shall start this downward motion and also upward motion downward motion can also be called free fall so we are going to see how the equations that will be used for downward motion so suppose the body of mass m kilograms is dropped in air such that it experiences negligible air resistance the body will move will move in a vertical straight line and the only force acting on it is its weight as shown below so this is the body mass is m kilograms so it means that its weight will be mg in newtons there is no other force acting so it means that upward force will be zero the acceleration will be downwards because it is free it is freely falling it is freely falling so from newton's second law of motion we know that f is equal to ma where this f is the resultant force in the direction of motion so in this case a resultant force will be mg minus zero mg minus zero it will be equal to ma when we substitute you see that this m can cancel we remain with a equal to g but our g is 9.8 so it means that the acceleration used for vertical motion under gravity when a body is freely falling will be 9.8 meters per second squared in other words a will be positive g first the equations for linear motion with constant acceleration used are used for downward motion by taking a equal to g positive g as shown below so the first equation shall replace a with with g Second equation still replace A with capital G with small g. Then third equation also replace A with G. Those will be the equations for downward motion. What if it was upward motion under gravity? So suppose the body of mass m kilograms is thrown upwards in air such that it experiences negligible air resistance. The body will move sorry the body will move in a vertical straight line and the only force acting on it is its weight as shown below so this is the body mass is m kilograms weight is mg newtons there is no other force acting acceleration is going upwards that means that the resultant force will be zero minus mg why because it has to be in the direct <coughs> it has to be in the direct of motion so we shall see that 0 minus mg is equal to ma in this case m can cancel so remain with a equal to negative g but we know that g is 9.8 so a will be equal to negative 9.8 meters per second so for vertical motion when the body is thrown upwards a will be negative g not that negative g so the equations will be as follows replace a with negative g we shall get v equal to u minus gt second equation replace a with negative g we shall get s equal to ut minus a half gt third equation replace a with negative g we shall get v squared equal to u squared minus 2gs so that has been our lesson for today tune in next time for the next lesson thank you for watching